Rolls once said, the electric car is perfectly noiseless and clean. There is no smell or vibration, and they should become very useful when fixed charging stations can be arranged. But for now, I do not anticipate that they will be very serviceable, at least for many years to come. Fast forward 123 years and this is the result. The first fully electric Rolls-Royce, the Rolls-Royce Spectre. Starting with the exterior of the car, with the front, we have the splitted headlights, first seen on the Phantom Coupe a few years ago, now again on the Spectre. Then we have, of course, the iconic grille. This is the widest grille ever fitted to a Rolls Royce. And then, of course, the Spirit of Ecstasy, but she bends a little bit more over this time because, of course, it's an electric car, so aerodynamics are seriously important. So. Continuing with the side of the car, which looks absolutely stunning, almost five and a half meters long, absolutely insane. So we have 23 inch wheels, first time ever fitted to a Rolls Royce. Incredible, they look stunning. And then we have this amazing coach line. There are two possibilities available. We have the shoulder and the fender coach line. Difference is the shoulder starts a bit lower and it goes through the door handle all the way the end of the car and then we have the fender shoal line which starts normally in front of the car and goes all the way down to the end of the window and let's not forget about this massive a pillar first time ever fitted to rolls in this size it looks absolutely incredible Finishing off with the rear end of the car, as you can see, no tailpipes visible because, of course, it's an electric car. We have these newly designed taillights, they look absolutely stunning. And the coolest feature of these taillights are they have no color, so which means they'll always match with the exterior color of the car. Talking about that exterior color, there's a new feature available on the Spectre, which is called the Aero Two Tone. So, as always, you can have the possibility to get your car in two colors. But now, with the Aero two-tone, it starts right here under the lid of the trunk, which gives the car a much more sportier look when definitely it's in a darker color, black or something like that. All right, exterior done. Let's have a look on the inside. Another typical Rolls-Royce feature are the stunning suicide doors hydraulic pumps help to open the door because they're still pretty massive which makes your life seriously easy another lovely feature is the fantastic umbrella which in this case matches the exterior color of the car but we're lucky today sun is shining so we won't need this one all right time to hop in and with a slight push on the brake pedal the door closes. How awesome is that? All right, welcome to the inside of the Spectre. So, it feels very much like a Rolls-Royce and that's the whole idea that it doesn't change too much for the Rolls-Royce driver. But we have a few changes, they're not too big, but still, they're pretty important. So, we have digital display for the driver and a funny thing is that the ref counter or the power reserve counter is matching with the color of your interior color. Small details, but we love it. Then we have the central display, which still works with your classic button, but it's also touch. And then we have the beautiful black light panel with the Spectre logo on it. Another feature we love about the Rolls-Royce Spectre is that it's still a very classic design on the inside. There's no screens everywhere. You still have this beautiful center console, which also carries batteries, so it's pretty important. But for the rest, these buttons, they still present 
inside the car just like all the previous models which gives the owners the new owners an instant welcome home feeling which is really nice and of course we have the iconic starlight headliner and for the first time it's also available inside your door panel which is seriously impressive this car doesn't have it but we will see it soon on our spectre and this you might imagine the Spectre or the Rolls-Royce is incredibly configurable, customizable, just like any other Rolls. Like, for example, we have this beautiful Charles Blue interior with Mandarin stitching. It's the pinnacle of customization and that's what we want to see even more with these cars. It's in small details that you see the refinement of this car. For example, these little details behind the steering wheel they take 16 hours to complete and of course are all handmade by the people in Goodwood. Let's finish this short walk around with a few numbers. So we have a 102 kilowatt hour battery lying underneath the car delivering power to one electric motor in the front, one electric motor in the back. So as you can imagine it's a four-wheel drive car. Total power output is 585 horsepower and 900 newton meters of torque. Seriously impressive numbers, if you ask me. But the most impressive is also the range, as we expect 520, 530 kilometers of range in this almost three ton weighing car, which is seriously impressive. All right, thanks for watching, and hopefully we we'll see you soon for another Curbstone TV review, as we will be taking out the Spectre on the road anytime soon. Bye-bye.